Okay, so thus we have done a few things about special parts. We have done a few things about integration by parts. They're quite closely related. I would again suggest please go through these uh, the entire presentation once again with a paper and pencil in your heart and familiar yourself even with the same questions will help you quite a lot. Now we have the concept of what you mean by partial fractions. Now what are these partial fractions? We have done cases wherein 1 upon x plus 1 dx is log x plus 1. Okay or 1 upon uh, x minus 2 dx is equal to log x minus 2 of course plus k and plus k but suppose you have something like this 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 dx how do we do this now we need to first take this expression and write it as the sum of two fractions that means you have to write this as a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 2. That means there are the degree of the denominator is 2. There are two brackets, two expressions in the denominator. So the total degree is 2. So there have to be, you have to split it up as two fractions. Suppose one of them was raised to 2, you have to split it up as three fractions. Now if you see, if you take LCM, you get x plus 1 into x plus 2. And this will become ax plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. Okay, we are taking this expression as this. So both these are one and the same. This means that a into x plus 2 should be equal to 1. So we can take that value of x will make a 0. That value of x will make b 0. For example, if you take x as minus 2 you will end up getting minus b is 1. So you will end up getting b is equal to minus 1. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. b into minus 2 plus 1 is minus b. So minus b is 1. So b is also minus 1. Suppose you took, take x as minus 1. This will make b 0. So you end up getting b minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1. So a will turn out to be 1. So ultimately this is nothing but 1 upon x plus 1 dx minus 1 upon x plus 2 dx which will be nothing but log x plus 1 minus log x plus 2 plus k. So this is how we do questions based on partial fractions. So we'll take up a few examples based on partial fractions. It's a very simple concept. Now there will be slight modifications when we have three fractions. We'll take up a few square fractions and all. Okay, simple partial fractions we're going to take up. For example, you have 1 dx. Now, okay, we'll do it in a very simple way. This means that 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 3 is nothing but a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 3 which eventually gives you a into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 3. So this, this means that 1 is equal to a into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 1. Suppose you put x is equal to minus 3. So that the a part becomes 0. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 into a is a. Minus 3 plus 1 minus 2. So we end up getting 1 is equal to minus 2b. So therefore b should be equal to minus half. So we get b as minus half. Now put x is equal to minus 1. If you put minus 1 plus 1, 0, minus 1 plus 3, 2, so you'll end up getting 1 is equal to 2a and a will turn out to be half. So ultimately, integral will turn out to be a upon x1, that is 1 by 2, 1 by x plus 1, dx, b is minus half, so minus 1 by 2, 
1 upon x plus 3 dx. So this is eventually going to be half log x plus 1 minus half log x plus 3 plus k. We can write this as log x plus 1 raised to half which is nothing but log root x plus 1 minus log x plus 3 raised to half which is log root x plus 3. We are using the rule log of a raised to m is nothing but m log a. Right. And this again you are going to use log a minus log b is nothing but log of a plus b root of x plus 1 upon root x plus 3 plus k. So eventually it is going to be this is the value of the integral of what we have plus k over here. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, we have 4x dx. <coughs> so how do we do this? Again, to make it easier, we can say a upon x plus 1, which means that 4x upon whatever is the denominator is a upon x plus 1 plus plus b upon x plus 3 which eventually will give you 4x upon whatever it is is equal to a x plus 3 plus b into x plus 1 upon whatever it is. So this means that 4x is equal to a into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 1. Now to find the value of a, put x is equal to minus 1 so that b gets my eliminated. So you get x is equal to minus 1, both sides. So this becomes minus 4 is equal to minus 1 plus 3, 2a plus b minus 1 plus 1, 0. So this becomes 0. So a would turn out to be minus 4 by 2, minus 2. Then you can put x as minus 3 so that we can find the value of b. So we get 4x is equal to minus 3 plus 3 is 0a b into minus 3 plus 1 minus 2b. Even 4 is going to be minus 3 accordingly. So it's going to be 4 into minus 3 it is. So 4 into minus 3 is minus 12. So hence B will turn out to be minus 12 upon minus 2, 6. So it's going to be minus 2 integral of minus 2 upon x plus 1 dx plus 6 upon x plus 3 dx, 6. So this will turn out to be 6 log x plus 3 minus 2 log x plus 1 plus k which eventually is going to be log x plus 3 raised to 6 minus log x plus 1 raised to 2 plus k. Again we use log a minus log b is log of a by b. So it's going to be log x plus 3 raised to 6 upon x plus 1. Mind you we are not going to write it as log upon log. It's log the whole of this minus this. So x plus 3 raised to 6 upon x plus 1 the whole square. So thus we get this. Hmm. Okay.